We're here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Abed Faruqi, who is associated with Trikes, well, a long time in your past. Long time. Now, there's another company called Revo. They make a beautiful trike uh, from Evolution Trikes. And you used to be associated with that product. In fact, had quite a bit to do with it, right? Correct. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your history before we talk about the one behind it. Yeah, so I started flying trikes in like 2001, 2002. And uh, got into manufacturing and designing of trikes around 2005. And um, with the Apollo brand. And uh, then got into Revo. I, my whole dream was to make an American super trike. And uh, me and Larry met like essentially spearheaded the effort to uh, do the Evolution Trike Revo base. And we started a new company called Evolution Trike do the Revo and uh, I was involved with it till 2011 and uh, then we just decided to go our separate ways uh, for business reasons and I took the Apollo line and Larry kept the uh, Revo. Okay, so you stuck with the Apollo which you've been associated Correct. with for well many years in yeah. my experience yeah. since I first met you I believe. Yeah. And uh, now you've added, we talked a little bit in another videotape about this gyro that you're bringing in from right. the same company, that's cool. And there's a lot of visual similarity other than the wing part. Right. But uh, now you're associated with this one. But before we get into talking about this, sort of in that interim period, yeah. in your post-Revo period, I'll call right. it, uh, you got very involved with using another one of your strengths as an engineer and doing work assisting people with the ASTM process. And, and for those that don't know, ASTM is a big organization that helps industries write industry consensus standards about how to approve products of all kinds. Right. In this case, one that FAA says, if you meet that set of standards, right. then you can fully manufacture aircraft and do a variety of things right. that we now know as light sport aircraft. But for a lot of people, that was sort of strange new field and there was not a lot of great knowledge and you brought quite a bit to the table. How did all that come about? So I, I got involved essentially in the weight shift control committee at first and then later on into the airplane. So I found that after the review the knowledge that I had gained and garnered, you know, designing, helping design three trikes and, uh, you know, helping certify an airplane, you know, FAA was cracking down essentially right. and uh, the manufacturers were finding out that there's a lot more to it than they thought and they needed help. So I offered my services essentially and I still continue to do that. That's part of the business of Civil Light Aviation. Okay, so Civil Light Aviation is not only a representative product, right. you're still doing engineering right. work. Yes. I know you helped another company right down here in Florida, uh, yeah. Progressive Aerodyne, that makes a Sea Ray. Right. And Abu was a key player in that to the extent that one of the highly placed people in FAA said, that's how you should be doing it. And they don't hand out those kind of compliments. <laughs> no, well, I've never heard them say yeah. that, so I, yeah. I guess that's something. But so you've been doing gyros, you've been doing consulting for people in the industry. Now you well, you never left trikes, but no. tell us what you're doing with Apollo trikes today. So Apollo, Apollo trikes basically, I help them uh, co-design uh, part of the machine, and uh, I bring in a skeleton from Hungary. Uh, from Haley, there are... Which you have to do. You have to just bring in to, parts from yeah, them. Exactly. It has to do with and legal then, matters, but uh, you exactly. can't just bring a whole aircraft yeah. in from Hungary. And I have to track the materials all the way back. So, um, you know, I bring it here, and then there's a full assembly line that does the trike put things in here. So they only supply me body, basically. And then the rest of that is done in the U.S. So you're American sourcing Correct. most of the components. Yeah. Most of the components. And the ring is all American-made. Is this um, a north wing? It's executed by north. Wing. Okay, okay. But I have tracking all the way down to the lot number of the material. Okay, great. Um, so I, uh, north wing I, is one of our good American uh, producers, producers that has been doing wings for a long time, does a nice Correct. job. Yeah, so I, I basically I have systems set up with these the sub suppliers, there are subcontractors that I can track everything, and then essentially I do all the quality assurance, final inspections, and full assembly. In, in my facility, including all the systems engineering and system design. Now you're located in Zephyr Hills, Florida, Zephyr Hills, Florida. which is uh, north and east of Tampa, for those right. that need some context. Yeah. It's a huge skydiving airport. Anybody in skydiving knows it very well. Right. But you're there too, and you've been there quite a while. I've been there since 2004. Okay, and, and you're running an assembly line. you got some staff that works with you, and right. you, you're building these strikes. And right. The... So I have Dan Saunders, who is the uh, engineering director. I have uh, uh, Greg Spatola, who is a helicopter commercial pilot, who is a gyroplane test pilot and Perfect. Uh, instructor. And uh, I have some AMT person here. Excellent. So, so why come up with another trike onto the line? What's so special and different about this one? Uh, so 
you know the the value proposition of the strike is very good. I mean, Revo is an extremely nice bike, and I know what what's in it inside and out <laughs> down to the bolt. But um, you know, it's uh, some people can't afford the Revo, and um, you know, but the look of this bike, as you can see. Um, is, you know, the Apollo, it's visually the very vi beautiful. Yeah, visual, nice work on it. Uh, styling is there. It's comfortable. You don't hit your head anywhere. It goes, uh, you know, 90 to 100 mile an hour cruise. Uh, it stalls out at 40, 43 miles per hour. Uh, the, 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 the useful load is 560 pounds. Wow. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's pretty good. And uh, it's a lot. Yeah, and fully auctioned out. You can get the strike around seventy thousand dollars. With ballistic recovery. Now, is it, is it a kit or not a kit? Uh, no, it's a fully assembled, certified. Okay. Out the door. As an American production. Yeah. As an American production. Okay. And 70,000 is that number now? Yeah. Again, folks, that's today. We're in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> in a few years from now, that number is going to be somewhat exactly. different, almost for sure. But right. but that, to put that in context, that's a very good price for such a deluxe piece Correct. of equipment. Though. Ready to fly. Ready to so fly. So all those people who said, there's nothing you can buy in the LSA space for $150,000 or all more than that. Right. Well, nonsense. No, it, it depends is. on exactly it what is. you want. If you want carbon fiber glass cockpits yeah. and so on, yeah, you can spend more money, right. yeah. but you can have a lot of fun in one of these. Right. And, you know, we have glass cockpit and actually the uh, avionics system that I've designed, we're using uh, either iFly GPS or iPad mini that we provide you. You can put on, you know, your application for flight or anything else you want, like that, and it's waterproof. And beautiful, it with you. beautiful. Yeah. And take it out and watch a movie at night. Exactly. All right, so we've got a good price point. It's an attractive product, made in the USA, ready to fly. But how long have these been around, Abed? Does the Apollo brand price? Apollo brand, uh, starting in Europe, has been around since the early 1980s. Early 1980s. So yeah, we're talking 30 years, 30 years of, of history of building these. Bunch of them flying there. How many in America are actually operating? There are between 30 and 40 strikes in the U.S. and South America of Apollo brand that I assembled. Under that design. came out yes. sort of with your name US, on them in a yeah, way. Okay. US, yeah. And um, and if, if I said, great, I want one. Right. How long? Right now, the lead time is only six weeks. Six weeks. Okay. So. You know, uh, and, and we'll see how that goes in the future. Yeah. We sell a lot of trikes or something, right. but uh, that's a short lead time, yeah. a good price, an American-made product yeah. with a guy that's proven his knowledge. All right, so gyros, trikes, yep. engineering services. Yep. You got anything else up your sleeve? Yes, actually, uh, there is an airplane called uh, in Europe called Apollo Fox, which is very similar to Kit Fox, but uh, basically here it's Apollo LSA. Okay. Uh, that I'm going to be bringing back. It's, we've friend. already seen it. I've already flown it, but out there. kind of disappeared on us, yes. and now it's back. Yeah. Bring and back. does this have a good price on it? Seventy thousand dollars. That's the last thing. And this we're talking a fixed wing now, fixed so wing. hundred horsepower engine. Wow. Far. You uh, really? That's a better price even than the trike is. Yeah. Wow. So. Ninety to hundred knot speed. So there's a lot to go to Apollo's operation called Silverlight Aviation. Is that the name of the website as well? Yeah. www.silverlightaviation.com. Okay, so we can give you more information there. We'll go fly all these things. We'll have more about that coming up. And you can find a lot of that and much more at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Ovid and me here at Thunder Park.